it's Wednesday night. We all know what that means. Take it away, Connor. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the All Leads On podcast on YouTube and Twitch. We are here for our AEW Dynamite Live reaction. Uh, tonight is the go-home show to AEW Dynasty this Sunday on pay-per-view. Uh, tonight should be a really good Dynamite, as you can tell by the thumbnail. We have uh, Will Ospreay versus Cloud Castanoli. Look forward to tonight. We have Mariah May versus Deanna Perrazzo. Uh, we got a lot of other matches tonight. Should be a good show. Uh, yeah, uh, we got Chris back tonight. We got Michael back tonight. Uh, I think Adam's going to be on pretty soon. Uh, yeah, that's how's it good. going? How's it going, fellas? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, Paul, yeah. man. let's go. There's not one person here. Uh, well, more people here now. Uh, AZ. AZ. Uh, let's go. We uh, we'll definitely appreciate all the comments. Uh, you guys are leaving us. Got some from Twitch already. Man, everyone's, man, everybody's been commenting since before the show. Uh, all right, let me uh, see. There we go. Good evening, all. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, you got the uh, Tony Storm shirt. <laughs> yeah, I did a whole monochromatic outfit for it today, too. I even had the fun black and gray armbands and stuff, but they got worn. I got that same shirt in the all loop crate. Yeah, he's uh, King is wearing his Sting one right now as well. I love it. Phenomenal autograph. Uno, if you guys didn't get the all elite crate, unfortunate. You should invest in it from now on. It's a quarterly crate. Super cool. No, they don't sponsor us, but they totally should. Um, really I neat. I actually stuff. want to start getting It's so awesome. Let me get my phone off. Sorry. Be right back. My dog's named after John Moxley. I'm so excited. IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. It's kind of mind blowing when you think about John Moxley being the <laughs> IWGP champ in 2024. I mean, that's that's pretty mind blowing, honestly. I think it is well deserved and awesome, and I'm so excited for him. I love John Moxley. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know John Marx is about to speak, but I'll say it anyway. Damn, it's great to be back on the podcast. I miss you, Chris. Good to see you, Chris. Long time no see, buddy. Yeah, I had I had a lot going on. Plus, I went to Hudsville, Alabama this past weekend. It was great seeing a lot of people. Your cosplay was amazing. And Errol, right? The oh, Dudleys right. are in town. You and Errol, right? Yeah, we did. We did. We were, we were, we were tearing down the place and all that. You guys looked at how you do it. I mean, we have to go some tables, but technically it counts as a weapon, so we have to, so we have to bring in the, the figure size table. Right. So glad cute. you had a blast, man. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, I even got a retweet from Bully Ray. That's awesome. Yeah, in case some of y'all seen it on the group chat. I totally did. It looks amazing. Moxley looks better with his head shaved, too. I agree, actually. I think he looks like he gives that Mr. Clean super good look. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The Mr. Clean look. <laughs> Except he has the beard on the bottom. You gotta go mustache ride. Huh. Sorry, Renee. I love your he kind of looks like somebody. He kind of looks like he kind of looks like Adam a little bit, except you know. This is the IWGP Championship. I love that. Except Adam has a much more brunette beard. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I love that. That's so wonderful. I wish he was on here tonight so you would see it, but to you hear, you know, I think you might have heard me right now. I do love Adam. <laughs> I know what's inside of you, Mr. John Moxley. 
I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Sweet belt, too. It's such a gorgeous belt. It is. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It looks kind of looks like a Lucha Libre mask. Well, flattened. Yeah, it kind of does, honestly. I love it. You talk a bet with history. That's it right there. That belt has so much history to it. Mm-hmm. Well, I could, say, I could say more, but I'll wait till the segment is over. Moxley has the eye of the tiger. You. Davis, my thing with the New Japan thing. Sorry, I just saw your comment. There's a whole bunch. Sorry, guys. Um, but it, there's a lot. I watch matches and I watch I watch wrestlers that I enjoy here and their matches out there and then I see wrestlers that I like them wrestling and then I watch their matches. Like, right. Because there's so much new Japan. That's how I personally watch it. I, I just can't follow all of it. There's so much. I mean, I'm the same. I, I mean, there, there's certain there's certain workers there that I really enjoy to watch. But as far as like I mean, the storylines are hard to keep up with. I agree with I agree on that because I mean it, it just, it's all Japanese. But the 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 performance, the the you know the execution of it all, that's that's art. It's art. I agree. And their strong style out there, like it, oh, when you're watching them hit each other and like really hit each other, you're like, oh my god, that's strong style. Yeah, like that looks like that hurts. I the, uh, oh, the Asuka and Minoru Suzuki match. That was, I think you brought it up at one point. It's ridiculous. I love the intergender. Asuka well, and, and uh, what's, what's this, um, Asuka and Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki. Suzuki, yeah. You know, that was Asuka's idea. You know, that? I know, and I love that for her. Like, honestly. If that's what you want to do, and that's how you want to prove yourself to like somebody that you very much respect, and she earned his respect, like yeah, I mean, she was like, "Lay it in, don't don't go easy on me, lay it in," and he definitely mm -hmm. laid it in. She had to slap him a couple of times, though. She really did. She had to she had to really yeah. slap him a couple of times before he let go. The best was when his partner was in there trying to pull pull him off. Pull him You're like, away. wait, yeah. are you supposed to be? Yeah, that was like that was that was that was like one of the moments in the whole thing where you're like, okay, what's going on here? What's really going on here? I knew exactly what was going on before I went into the match. I think if I didn't know what was going on before I went into the match, I probably would have been like, yeah, it would have thrown you off. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, technically like, too. Sorry. I got like challenge Hobbs. Hobbs. Like what beef do they have? Human Hobbs? Mm -hmm. Hold on. There is hold on. I'm thinking on back I'm thinking back on that one too. Well yeah, I mean there's that. Just like everybody else in this business. Oh, maybe they'll recruit him for Blackpool Combat Club. I, I hope the Callus family does end here pretty soon. It should be busted up. It's getting old. I agree. It, it, it it's a it's a kind of a one trick pony. It ran its course, man, and you know Osprey can't really be in that for long. And if he leaves, Hob can come to Blackpool Combat Club. It'd be awesome. Fletcher's good enough to be on his own too. I agree. I like Kyle Fletcher. I didn't originally, but I very much enjoy him now. Same here. I don't know why. I didn't like him at first. Now he's awesome. I'm just going to say it. John F. and Moxley. Yes, Chris. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's, like one of the, he's one of my favorite guys, man. He really is. I just love his energy and the fact that his journey to sobriety and like oh, that's yeah. really inspiring to me. 
personally. So I'm like, bruh. Like, that's why I got my dog and named him John Moxley was because I wanted to, instead of spending money on that stuff, like, spend money on taking care of the dog. You can't take the dog out if you're passed out drunk. So, like, you yeah. know, it was an inspirational thing. Um, yeah, but, very inspirational. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool dude. He's doing very good things. You know, Julia, I didn't picture you to be such a They're guy. proud of him. Yes, he's a very good dad to his daughter that looks so much like him. Either way, I am putting the entire women's division on notice. And well on Julia, I look forward to watching your little mixed tag team match tonight. John Callis is the Dominic Mysterio on AEW because he's booed so bad. I don't think he's booed as bad as Dominic, but I definitely feel the boo. <laughs> I think Dominic has has the has kind of the boo vote these days. And like people fight to boo louder. It's like yes. here, my my city booed this loud, and like wow, they were so no nah, no. Nah, this yeah, thing. they're they're competing. Oh. Yeah, they're competing for booing now. <laughs> exactly, it's not even about him anymore. Oh, and Dom has to yell over the crowd. I love that. I like that Dom got booed at his wedding. <laughs> It's about time that uh, Adam Copeland become the TNT champion a few weeks ago. About time. Mm -hmm. There you go. I couldn't, you stand, I couldn't stand it with that. What's his face? Trying to cheat and get all the wins. Christian? Yeah, it was Christian. Christian's awesome, man. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say more. Let's start. Uh, Johnny brought to us more machine guns uh, defeat the Young Bucks in a triangle ladder match. Uh, one of my rematches in AEW history actually involves Motor City Machine Guns and FTR, but it's FTR, Motor City Machine Guns, and Heyman and Kenny uh, in a ladder match. Oh. Well, you could throw Mega Four and throw the North in, but. Hmm. Speaking, speaking, speaking of, uh, well, first, let me wait to the comments. What's going on? Is this a mixed tag match? Yeah, we got, yeah. it was going to be a mixed tag. <laughs> it was like Willow got a tag backstage. Oh, no. I think Ain't Willow's, that a bitch. I think Willow's setting everybody up. So a big turn. You're not hurt. We know you did it to Mercedes, and now you're faking and making everybody feel sorry for you. I don't buy your bubbly face anymore. <laughs> Broadway face? <laughs> no, no bubbly face. I don't. I don't buy. Her I thought you said Broadway face. I was like, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, Sky, blue, very Sky blue turned on. <laughs> every every bubbly person ends up turning evil, so I don't trust her. Uh, Tony Storm defeats Queen Rosa when Deanna returns on Rosa. Oh. Oh. A, a team Deanna versus Team Rosa and Arkin win over another. I would be pretty good. I'll see an NRP arena women's match this year. Uh, women, thanks for watching. Uh, Jason thanks, says, What's up, Chris? The Shield might be the most successful faction of all time. Uh, mm, that's debatable. I think they're in the top five. Uh, for me, Evolution is a really good faction. I like there's, there's a lot of good factions. You know, the Four Horsemen, the Mm -hmm. um, three birds, yeah. Three birds, there's a lot of them. I think the shit was definitely in the top five or ten. If you were talking successful, like, yeah, what about yeah. NWO? Oh, yeah, NWO became kind of, I don't know, <laughs> they they really destroyed WCW. Done, I don't know if they're really successful, you're right? I wouldn't, I, yeah, I wouldn't call that successful. <laughs> it was. It was good until they just added the entire roster. Like, like oh, yeah, right. Like, they added, you know, Buff Bagwell, Scott Flash Norton. I mean, the whole roster was NWO. Yeah. Uh, when Disco and Prano joined, I was like, all right, that's it. <laughs> like, the whole entire roster. Like, they didn't have no one to go against. Cause no, I think La Parca was even in it. La Parca and Virgil. Yeah, yeah, Virgil. Yeah, I know. He was in there for sure. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're glad you're watching the Paul. Watching here with us, Paul. Uh, hey guys, for Siren, thanks for watching. Wait, so much want to be representing each country wrestling at Fiend Door. Uh, pretty much, yeah, if he's still champion till then. 
which he probably will be. He's probably going to lose that New Japan for us. That may not fit into it. I've been hearing that a lot. I'm missing Moxley. Right? Cool. Uh, well, considering Adam Cole's going to be out for a while, I think they kind of need someone like Moxley at this point. Uh, I love Moxley. Uh, Moxley. tonight or the night of ruin. I'm pretty sure Osprey's going to win. I think it's going to be a really good match, but... I mean, we yeah, it's Osprey, yeah. Yeah, we've got Osprey and Danielson, man. If, they, if Osprey lost, then just cancel the match. I don't want to see <laughs> it. If that happens, but I don't think it's going to We can't really get yeah, least turn that off. Uh, Hobbs versus Mox. Yeah, that's what Mox said next week on, in, on Dynamite in Jacksonville. Uh, Hobbs and Mox. Down Chaos is the dominant Mysterio in AEW because he's good so bad. I, I can't agree with that. And like a, a lot of people think that like the booze for Dominant Mysterio are piped in. But if you no, watch like, real. If you, if you watch like fan videos, oh my god. Like, those so, are totally real. Same with Don Callis, like go. Oh, mm-hmm. Did you you guys ever see that uh Don Callis got beat up in Mexico by a fan? Like actually beat up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know if it was like I don't know if like they had real beef or if, if like the fan just beat him up because he was playing his character. I don't know. But a lot of people the, take it real seriously. He beat the brakes yeah. off of Callus though. Either way, he beat the brakes off of him. <laughs> it was his it was hilarious his re- his reaction. He's like, Where the hell is security around here? I thought you yeah. had some good security. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, I gotta see that. If, Do your job. If that fan oh, did awesome. if that fan did attack him while he was in character, that means he's doing his job. Exactly. Right. Now, yeah. Yeah, now if that was MJF on the other hand as a hero, that fan probably would have got them. That fan probably would have gotten. Yes. Oh yeah. I like. I'm surprised no one, no fans ever tried to actually attack MJF when he was a heel because he was, you know, pretty yeah. harsh. He was pretty yeah. harsh, but the man is just. Oh, he's I think so a lot of people good. nowadays, because we all defend ourselves, and everybody nowadays defends themselves from behind a screen and keyboard. Uh, so, you know, I, I just I feel like seeing somebody as large as MJF, not a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, I can take him. You know? Whereas, like, uh, and or even have the, you know, without the doubt of, like, maybe he could take me. Whereas a lot of people could look at Don Callis and be like, yeah, he can't take me. You know what I mean? John's a big guy, though. He, he was a yeah, he's big. Yeah. He is big, but he just doesn't have the. If yeah. you're like that into it, that you're following his personality, he definitely or in mm, his character, right. he's very much a, ca- a coward. He talks a lot. He's such an a hole that yeah, you want to beat him up, but if you believe that he's that much of an actual a hole that you want to punch him, you probably also believe he's a weak little coward. <laughs> well, like, yeah. I wouldn't want yeah. to do it in jail. Like. I, I would probably have a chance of beating up Don Callis than I would in jail. Over a <laughs> jail, oh yeah. Don, I, I, I think anyone could beat Don. Like Marco Stunt could beat Mark. Marco Stunt could beat Don Callis so. up. <laughs> Marco Stunt is an artist. I miss Marco Stunt. I I just seen him the other, the other day. I don't know if anyone knows this, but he was like two minutes from me. Oh, yeah, uh, I I about ten him. minutes from where you are, Connor. Whoops. Yeah, like two minutes. Like I see, him. I could, I could see his mom or himself or on any day. So. Did he did you like see him in like, the grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder it's if just, they did well on the mask singer. I thought that's some people would be like a shocking thing, but to okay. me, oh, it's just Marco Stunt. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's just Marco. <laughs> yeah, that right. I think he's currently doing something. I think something about being a religious or something. I don't know. Some about ministry. Yeah, he was doing that, and then he was. He's a he's a gymnastics teacher as well. He's kind of, oh okay, that's cool. Yeah, that that's what he was doing before wrestling. Okay, I, I yeah, I can see that. I actually have a friend that uh, Marco Stunts is her uh, gym her gymnastics teacher. Hmm. Like all these tall girls, and he's short. He's coaching all these people. And then... That's cool. Learning something new every day. Uh, watching he, that clothesline um, that Adam Copeland did on, on Brody when they were going across the ring. It was really cool because most of the time he just like takes it. Brody just takes it and like watches the other guy fall down. But he actually like staggered him and knocked him into the corner and I really enjoyed that. It was a great show of strength um, uh, for somebody as large as Brody King. Yeah. It looked good. It looked, it looked good. As of right now, we've got a handicap match. Yeah, right now it definitely is. Well, technically <laughs> one-on-one if you count Julia Hart can't face Edge, 
It's not an intergender match. So how does Joey? Well, technically they have done that before with uh, uh, Adam Cole and Britt Baker versus Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander. They did have a little some spots with that. I personally think that it is super progressive to have intergender matches on wrestling. Um, there are some women out there who can definitely beat the pants off some men out there. Oh, like yeah. 150%. And I would love to watch it. Like, I mean, you know. I know Tony Khan isn't really. Uh, like, the way he does it, like, he'll do, like, uh, mixed tags. And then he'll do it that way or do it. He'll do it in a way that it's uh, not just a straight up, you know, Edge versus Will and I, it, he does it in ways that, because mm-hmm. uh, technically we've got two women's matches tonight. Well, if Will and Nightingale would show up, but she's faking it, so. It's like, uh, <laughs> you, you count this as a women's match? It's really just her standing out there. Well, if Will and Nightingale was out here, it, it technically would be a second women's match, but she's flaking out her everybody, so. Smell shenanigans. The situation should be, if she's not out here tonight, uh, then she can't go against You can't be on Dynamite. You can't be at Dynasty. He still has that Whoa. cast. Who else was it that had the cast for the really long time? Uh, Bob Orton. I think that's who I'm thinking about. It was forever he had this cast, and he didn't actually need it anymore. He's hitting people with it. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, thanks for watching, David. Appreciate you. guys. I saw you guys on AEW Dynasty. Oh my gosh! Yeah, last well, night, Crazy Canada. We uh, did our AEW Dynasty predictions. If anyone hasn't seen that yet, you can go back and check that out. I'm super sorry. Uh, uh, so, Connor, are you going to uh, Dynasty in St. Louis or can't make it? Uh, I, I was going to go, but uh, I had some. Uh, I actually have to choose. Yeah. Um, I had to choose Dynasty or another event, but I do plan on going to World's End and uh, because they because AEW announced their entire pay per view schedule of the year. Okay. Uh, hmm. They they announced uh, Russell Dream is supposedly going to be Brian Danielson's last match because it's in Washington. Oh, uh, that's very fitting. Full Gear is in Newark, New Jersey. I went, like if anyone remembers, I, I went there for Full Gear. I had the vlog up. I probably won't go to that because I want to go. To, I want to go to a peer review I haven't been to before. So I'll probably go to World's End in Orlando this year. Whoa. I don't know how to say this, Connor, but what? But I, I am going to SummerSlam. Uh, I have to pick between SummerSlam or Dynasty. Uh, if MJ comes back at MJF comes back at Dynasty, you're going to regret it. <laughs> yeah, I had to make some tough choices. I spent a lot of money on that revolution trip. Like probably SummerSlam more, or Dynasty, you know. Probably more money than that part, too, so, that revolution. So Julia's not getting in the ring? Nope. Go. Oh. I like the ending of that. Ooh, spear. That was a good spear. Okay. Folded them in half of them. <laughs> A tag with a foot? That can't be legal, can it? These fans are idiots for cheering for Willow when she attacked Mercedes and she faked her injury tonight. Oh, damn. That's what you get for faking your injury. <laughs> Julia Hart has her hair like Penelope. I thought she was Penelope at one point because <laughs> of her hair. I miss Penelope. I hope she's doing all right. Julia Hart picks up the win. That's it. <laughs> well, we're not Clark gonna... with that chain. <laughs> yep. Who is this? Oh, God. Mercedes Monet. It's not Julia Hart, because that would be the obvious person who attacked her, but it's not going to be obvious. Chris Allen. I think it's Aubrey Edwards who attacked her. Hmm. Aubrey Edwards, that'd be something. <laughs> but I really think it's Will Nine Dallas. Can someone do something about Julia Hart? I mean, I know she's probably over 21 by now, but she's getting away with everything. 
She's a kid. Let her get away with everything. Until... She's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that is how they're raised nowadays. Who are you going to hit? Hit somebody with it. Hit yourself with it. I don't know. Do something physical. Do something physical. Yeah, she hasn't done anything. Since got I know. I agree. Her to grind. He, you saw. She doesn't. She doesn't have an extra ground with Adam. <laughs> Hit yourself with the chair just to make. Just to. I mean, you done something for tonight. She. She. She did lift it above her head. I took a lot out but of. She her was thought. thinking. She was thinking. Think about it. Well, she did get physical the first night she was there. She came out and you know with Julia and all that. Is dancing physical? I would say so. She dances. <laughs> Just, just took a lot out of her to just come to the ring. Cause here's another thing, though: is there going to be a rampage or collision before Dynasty this Sunday? Uh, rampage is being. That's a good question because we're not, we're not taking rampage tonight. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if we're doing rampage and collision the same night. They'll probably tell about it tonight. I know that there's a collision tonight. I mean, not tonight, but uh, Saturday. It's in uh, Illinois. I'm usually, you know. So many emotions running across his face in that one little clip. It, it was so good. Gosh, Joe, you're good. I, would go. I appreciate him. Speaking I appreciate of, him. Uh, I forgot to meet some more Joe on my revolution trip. Was, you oh, lucky yeah, that's right. yeah, that looked cool. Did I ever tell anyone how I met? Well, like, I was on my flight to go home, and I'm, I'm sitting down, and all of a sudden, this big dude comes down, Smoa Joe with the world title. I'm just looking at everybody, and like, no one knows who he is. I'm just a bunch of people think he's a normal person. He just walks by. Wow. Well, That's there, pretty there, awesome. There was a bunch of people on my flight made. There Max Caster, Luther, Dasha. Wow. Yeah. You know, while I was in Hudsville, though, I met AEW's uh, wrestler. Well, I didn't met him in person, but he was there, though. Orange Cassidy. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and also, WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus, she was there, too. Oh, that would be cool. I'd love to meet Trish. Nothing, a whole, like, not a whole lot of wrestlers come to do that kind of stuff in Canada. And when they do, it's not very close to me, it's very far away. That sucks. Well, Dustin, I Rose, Dustin Rose wasn't on my flight, but I saw him at the airport. I'd be so jealous. I love Dustin. I I'm, I'm a mark for Dustin Rose. I didn't want to go go up to him because he didn't get, he didn't get no sleep that night. Because the show didn't end until like 12 a.m. And then by the time I got to his room, like 1 a.m. And the flight was at 3 a.m. So he didn't get no sleep. But, Damn. But the only wrestler I wanted to meet on this entire on that entire trip was Samoa Joe. I didn't care about anyone else except Samoa Joe. Like oh, yeah. I didn't even care about Sting really. Like if I met, I didn't really want to meet Sting. I wanted to meet Samoa Joe. I've always, I've never got to meet Samoa Joe. He's always been someone I wanted to meet. The elusive Samoa Joe. I really like <laughs> all the years. I've always wanted to meet Samoa Joe. Here's here's another thing though in mind though. Um, well, well. Speak, speaking of wrestling, though, um, I haven't. I don't know if I told you all this yet or not, though. But uh, there's a wrestling event coming to uh, my hometown. Well, technically, uh, right next to it in Batesville, Mississippi, which is 20 minutes where I am. You're gonna be like, but, but it's not AEW. It's not WWE. It's more like a local wrestling, an EPW wrestling. Independent. You're gonna be making. Is that the one that you have the petition for, Chris? Huh? Is that the one that you have the petition going for? Yep. Yeah, you should share the heck out of that. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Okay. I share it when I see a pop up. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm trying. I'm yeah. In case anyone hasn't noticed, though, I know some of y'all have, but uh, to the viewers, I'm trying to. Well, how to? Well, I said making an entrance, but thanks to uh, Cody. Well. WWE Universal Champion Cody Rhodes. He said he finished the story. Now it's my turn to start the story. You know what that means, don't you? 
2027 Revolution. Chris Downs versus Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Uh-huh. I'm not. It's not wrestling. It's about trying to do something <laughs> to start my career in the wrestling, not being as a wrestler. But that's like that's the end game of your story. Like that. Like that's what it all comes down to. Some way, somehow, you gotta get there with MJF. At WrestleMania. <laughs> or or double or nothing, as Connor said. What was it Revolution, you said, Connor? Uh, Revolution, Revolution 2027. Uh, Smojo was as of right now, I got up to 39 petitioners, well, supporters, including the three of y'all. Well, except for Michael, since he doesn't know. Or hey, uh, send, me, send me the link for the uh, the uh, petition. I'm going to put it in the, in the chat so people can... Uh, okay, well, let's. Okay, I can do it right now, or I can do it be after the show's over. Oh, we can do it now. There's a lot of people watching now, so we'll do it now, then more people will probably yeah, see we'll it. Pop it in the chat. Uh, yes, Mojo was nice. Uh, see, the weird thing was when he first got on the flight, he was he was he had a smile on his face. He was telling everyone hi and this and that. And then when I go up to meet him, he, he suddenly has the face on like he went on TV. <laughs> so, because he uh, probably knew you were a fan. That's yeah, cool. I, was, I was the only fan on that whole plane, probably. That's why, then. Oh, what a great man he is. He saw that you were a fan, and he's like, he wants Samoa Joe. And that's yeah. dope. He, like, he, he like, instantly, like, like split face. He instantly turned his smile into a big frown and played his character. That, that, is, awesome. Awesome. that is awesome. I like when wrestlers play their characters. Uh, in okay, I, uh, I send you the post, Connor, and I send the group the the petition, too. I'm going to put it. Sorry, guys. Not the top of my head. Yeah, well, almost 40. I'm only one more away to get up to 40. It says 40 when I went under it. Oh, no. Not the God given names, EVPs. <laughs> uh, Mr. Economics in appearance, also. <laughs> Oh. Do you I did this outfit today to match my Tony Storm shirt that that we got in the box, in the street box, which is super Rock cool. The They're complaining about it. They're saying that it's plain. Dude, the fact that it's on a gray shirt instead of the normal, like, black shirt is totally epic, just in itself, because it's all monochromatic. And then it says, watch for the shoe productions. That's hilarious. Sorry. I had to go off. Oh, boy. <laughs> rocking the fit. Got to rock the fit. Got to talk about it. What's wrong with that? Excalibur, they're drunk with power. <laughs> oh man, they're so douchey. They're so douchey. They're they're really good at being douchey. I gotta say, I know, they're so good at being douchey. It's crazy. They're so awful. Fire these guys. See? <laughs> or fire them as EVTs. That'd be wonderful. I love it. Oh. It's really just a name title at this point. Because I I flip a quarter. No, oh, that was nice. That was nice. That was the perfect way to do it. You see that transition? They flipped the coin and then they went to Okada's. That's perfect. That was. No matter how much you want to do like Cody Rhodes, nobody's going to duplicate the Cody Bear. Cody Bear. Power, Powerhouse Hall was brought up back like one time. Now Okada's trying to do it. Okay, you're right, Connor. I do have 40 supporters out there. The, uh, All right. Also, awesome. watching. I'm putting the petition in the comments. And more to go, and I get up to fifty. Hopefully, that. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay, I'm more interested. I put it in the in the uh, not in the chat. Uh, from, for, so it's on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you're watching Twitch or YouTube, you can see it. On there. Sorry, I'm not sure. Now watch out for the shoe and call out Indy Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> Zit. 
head up, chin out, no, head up, tits out, and watch for the shoe. Like nobody knows who Wendy Wicker is now these days, and she just name drops her, and everyone's talking about Wendy. That's pretty awesome, the name dropper. I know who Wendy Wicker is. WWE legend, WWF legend. Respect. Does anyone know who Missy Hyatt is? Do you know who who Missy Hyatt is, Jacob? Oh yeah, I know who she is. You want to know what I call her now? What do you call her? I call her fish lips. Cause it fish lips? Oh man, that's it. <laughs> if anyone's seen her damn. nowadays, she's not like she's well, you're not off. You're not off. But damn. Like, like I was gonna try to beat her pretty, one time. Like I had my WCW. On the nose. Like I had my WCW. Like I wanted to get her to sign it. Like she was just on her phone the whole time. I, I slept for like ten minutes. Like okay, I mean you're here for a meeting grade, not cell phone time. But after that, I just call official at Chapter Out. Because God, we, her, her, her lips got, she's had some kind of surgery. I don't well, know. Yeah, she's I've, had, she's... I've never seen some lips. I've never, I've never seen some lips. I've never seen some lips. Oh, I've seen way like worse. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there who spend a lot of money just to get somebody to mess up their face. And it's so sad. Hit. I wish people would just age gracefully. You got hit a few times. I mean, I'm going to get my tatas done, but they didn't age gracefully. I, I lost half my body weight, and now they're like a 60-year-old lady on a 30-some-year-old person's body, and that's just not fair. So, I mean, <laughs> what life? And oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of which, though, I don't know. If, well, Fozzie announced a new tour, though, um, for the, their 25th anniversary and guess what? They're coming to Birmingham, Alabama, where I'm only three hours from here. And guess what? And I know I shouldn't say this to Mr. Jacobs, but it's on the day after my birthday. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Birthday, How dare you? Coming to Birmingham on a Monday, October 7th. <laughs> I haven't got tickets yet, but I am going to eventually. Uh, Davis, what shirt do you have on Monday? I didn't talk to me, Michael. I wasn't sure you have one. This is a weird combination, I think. I love this combination. I'm super excited to see, uh, well, mostly Bastard, the Bastard and Penta together again. But uh, we've seen Danielson with Penta before, and they're really good together. They have great chemistry. Odd, I don't know how Pac and... Um, Garcia. I just said his name. Daniel Garcia. Thank you, Daniel Garcia. Yeah, I don't know how all their personalities would mesh, but like their wrestling is really neat. We don't have to wait too much longer because on May fifth, Ray Phoenix is clear to come back. So then we can have Death Triangle back. It's been like forever since they've been able to team together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they would probably they can, really- go, they can go without injury. Yeah, like if someone's, it's really always Phoenix. He's always injured. Mm-hmm. He always does these reckless moves, and then he ends up injured and out for months. <laughs> like every time, it's it's that same move he does. It's the one where he does a suicide dive, and he did, his whole body just flips over the barricade and everything. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah, like every time, like he, he's had the most injuries in AEW probably. I'm thinking maybe he should stop doing that. Maybe he should stop doing that one move. Maybe he'll be fine. Like he's really talented, but he, uh... if he wasn't injured so much. I could do a lot more with that. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, why? Like they got so many attires of Pentagon they could put into AEW fight for everything or make action figures of. Like they still haven't made a Joker Pentagon action figure. Garcia just beanbagged one of the bucks in the face. Ooh, that was a cute look. Oh, it was really no. funny. Go ahead. Yeah, Johnny be bad. Super. 
Until they be bad. You know, brought Johnny the Bad versus Dallas, Dallas Page and WCW. WCW, they've had a lot of good matches. Oh, yeah. No, we, we, yeah, we watched it, some of that together. I remember. Daniel Garcia is in a lot of movies that both of them. I've been, been watching a lot of WCW. Really, 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 really. <laughs> Daniel Garcia, like, move, my, move by move, he's doing what Donald Dallas Page and Johnny the Bad would do. Mm. I never really noticed it until I actually watched the match. Now I'm seeing it also. I wonder if he actually takes notes from that or he just does it. Like, I'd, I'd like to actually know that now. Like, does he actually like, watch film and do this move or he just does it? See, because now that you talk, now that you talk about that, the pacing of it all looks just like one of their matches. Please be Megan back. Please, please. Oh, yeah, you didn't do it as good. Oh, jeez. He like hits him in the face with his with his ball sack while he's doing the dance. It was ridiculous oh, and amazing. And he got the favor returned. So I, I thought that was also amazing. Oh. I'm like thirty seconds behind you to a minute. I'm I'm quite ahead. I usually am and I don't know why. I'm running off uh TSN. Sports network? Yeah. Remember, it's always yeah, someone's way behind or someone's way ahead. Yeah, there's always a delay, so we've gotten used to it. I'm going to get it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 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 Well, we used to have a really, a really bad delay where, like, we were talking. Mr. Jacobs would be talking about something else we already talked about. And then it yeah, it was like a minute or two delay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I'm super far ahead. I try not to get super excited when I know who wins because I know I'm, like, really far ahead of you guys. But there's no way for me to pause it. With uh, debuts, that's the, that's the hard thing we had. Like, one time Soraya debuted, and I was marking out. And then it was like, what's going on? I said, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> I have to, like... <laughs> Speaking of Soraya, uh, I hope, I hope he uh, has some matches pretty soon because uh, we really want to see is Soraya and Mercedes Monet because anyone doesn't know the history of that. Mercedes Monet technically ended the career of Soraya. Well, not really because Soraya's wrestling now, so them to have that purpose of me. So, like, them to have that match against each other and yeah. uh. I'm pretty sure that they made him. I'm sure they didn't have any heat with it, but just to revisit no. it, I think that would be. I think having that match in AEW would be really special. I just got an email from Memphis Wrestling saying that you're going to be a part of the show wrestling. Not exactly. They're just giving me a post. They're having a, an event. They just had an event for May 18th. Guess what? They're having a gender reveal event. Who's in the real event? Oh, what? I don't know. Someone, someone must be having a baby or something. Oh, that's cool. Is it, is it, is it Maria? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I could, I wish, but technically, uh, oh, and guess what? There's going to be a first ever gender reveal match. Gender, gender reveal dude. match? That's I never cute. heard of that. So there's going to be a well, gender I reveal match. That, sounds, that, that sounds interesting. I'm just wondering how, yeah, how that works. Did you already see one on Facebook video recently, uh, a few weeks, a few months ago, maybe? But it was a fight outside. What, gender reveal party? Anything else to do the job right. Naturally. Sure I, that. I mean, I think that's kind of funny, because if you think about it, when you go get a gender reveal cake baked, people know what it is, right? Whoever makes the cake has to make the inside the right color. So it's the same right. thing with having a match. You have people who know the ending and who know who's going to win, one wearing pink, one wearing blue, and whoever wins... Okay, I love that, that, I get you. That's actually super awesome. If I ever I decide you. to have kids and do a gender reveal anything, which I normally don't believe in, that's what I would do. Well, we still I think that's actually a pretty cool concept, actually. <laughs> Must be. Well, we still have no idea who's uh, having the baby or who's having the... Or, who, or what, I don't know. I bet it's going to again. Doesn't, can't be, though, but if she did, she might have told us on Twitter, X, right now. Is she pregnant right now, or... I don't know. She already had like two kids, and they're boys. I don't know. I mean, she's the one always having kids over there. So they just added. They did. They just added. I mean, I don't know. Could be a fake gender. They're like a wrestler, 
pregnant. Or maybe my fans were having, or maybe one of, me, one of the fans were having a baby. That's <laughs> so cool. For a wrestling promotion to do that, especially if it was like one of the fans that followed the local promotion around quite a bit. Do you remember when uh, Lita, Lita, Lita was going to have Kane's baby one time? It was a miscarriage. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those fun. Oh, that was a weird I, story. I, that, that was, was pretty I weird. Actively watching wrestling, like actively every. Yeah. yeah. I was like, my girl. They did my girl yeah. dirty. I can't say more. Lita was going to have Kane's baby. Uh, it's just they just had an event. It's on Saturday, May 18th. At the Memphis Russell Center. Oh, Pac's looking good. Well, congratulations to the couple. Yeah. Congratulations, Pentagon. Probably whoever whoever is getting a baby, except I don't know who is I don't know who is it. I didn't know. I never. I never. Or maybe it might be some of the fans, or, or one of the fans, might, or one of the supporting fans out there might be having a baby, and you know, I don't know. They just want to have a gender reveal right there in Memphis Wrestling. I think that's cool. That can be if we Memphis Wrestling has a lot of crazy matches. This is no surprise. <laughs> I've, been I love a, a I've been to an event where the, the fans bring the weapons. Ooh. Like a, oh. fan brought, a fan brought a weed eater and the wrestler cut him out with the weed eater. <laughs> Ooh, that was good that break. Wow. I love their sequences. You're right, Connor. It, it is, it is, it is, it is probably Maria and Dustin. How you know? Because, because they, because uh, I was looking at the the info, see who is the reveal of gender of baby skull. That's number three. Yeah, that's probably more than that. The event's free. Oh. 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 I guess she doesn't want to watch it yet until it's <laughs> I guess she wants to wait to announce it though later on. It's kind of obvious it is her. Just to see him. And if Dustin and Marie are watching this right now, I apologize for you know spoiling spoiling the the announcement. Well, technically, you didn't spoil it. You're kind of promoting it. Oh, James! That was good. Pac's got his speed back. Well, he's, he never lost it. But. As I was going to say, he never really lost it. <laughs> he won't win. Uh, I'm fine with just Daniel Garcia and AEW. Hey, it'd be funny if they played the Garcia twins. Because, you know, the both twins are actually Hispanic, and Daniel Garcia is Hispanic. So then play a story where uh, Daniel Garcia brings his sisters to AEW. The Garcia oh, twins. <laughs> I don't know. They could all dance. <laughs> There yeah, <laughs> I can see that happening, but personally, no. I'm but good. If I had to trade Rena Shavir for the Bella Twins, I would do that. That's what about trade. Bella Twins and ROH? We can go get the Renegade. Twin on twin action. Yeah, we, I mean, I wrestling. Think we were up and talking about that recently. The, Bell, the Renegade Twins versus the Bella Twins. So I don't really know if, if they can really go in the ring still though. Like they haven't like the last time that they were in WWE in a ring, like they look kind of like they look all out of not out of shape, but like you can tell they haven't been in the ring in a long time. I don't know how they would right. go in. I don't know if they could hang in AEW because AEW is more fast paced. Like, yeah. WWE does have fast paced women's matches, but not on a regular basis like AEW does. So I don't know how that would go. So remember Nikki Bell saying that she wanted to wrestle weekly. But like normally, uh, wrestle weekly, I feel like she would she'd get injured pretty fast. I mean, maybe 2012 Nikki Bell in AEW, but I don't know. Oh, you never know. 
This is going to be magic tonight, isn't it? <laughs> it's really good. Oh. All right, this is when the referee's got, got to really be on, like, watching everything to see who's leaving now. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Oh, Two tombstones and a rainmaker. That was sick. Well, Cotton might actually lose that one. Because knowing before the the dynamite before a pay per view, uh, if the champion wins, kind of find out some stuff. Once the team or something. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. His his wife just <laughs> doesn't have it anymore. I mean. He knows it. I, mean, I, I don't know what she would do. I mean, yeah, he knows it. That's why she doesn't do it. <laughs> I, mean, I like the ball twins. Not some, they're not one of my favorites, but they've been out, they've been out of wrestling for a long time. Them doing a weekly basis. Yeah. If anyone's seen their last WWE appearance, they look kind of. You could tell they have a lot of it. They're great reality TV show stars, so I'll give them that. Yeah, like they had the, uh, they were on Total Divas, and they had their own reality show, and then, yeah, they, I don't know, maybe they would draw some sort of fan reaction to AW. I would be the best and worst reality TV star ever. It would make for good television, but nobody who is stuck in a space with me for any amount of time would enjoy themselves. <laughs> maybe, maybe they can include your adventure from today. Yeah. Oh man, dude, that <laughs> blew up, Connor. I didn't. Did I didn't know what it was. About? That? Like I was at work and uh, probably got in trouble. I don't know if I got in trouble for it or not, but I was playing on my phone and everybody heard. It. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't know what it was about. Like, I watched like five minutes of it. And, you were saying, it was, yeah, it, was, it, it has like 45,000 views right now. 45,000. Like when I looked at it, it was like 400. Sorry, 46. Yeah, I, I, I seen you posted that, and I was like, but that is why you don't have like 400 views that time. No, yeah, that was people, people were trying to rip off my hubby. And I felt like if they were ripping off my hubby, then they probably were ripping off a lot of people. And so we called a different place to make sure that it was an unreasonable thing that they were asking. And that place sent us to another place, who then sent us to like the College of Physicians. Hmm. And then they were like, yeah, no, that's bad. And so I went in there to tell people and to tell them that what they're doing is wrong. And apparently, that's going a little crazy right now. So, hmm. but they're overcharging people like a lot. Like they want it for for these free forms that could have cost like put it this way: my hubby, his husband, or his husband, <laughs> uh, his brother went went through this like not well, a while ago, and it didn't cost him anything. And for my hubby, they were trying to charge him three hundred and twenty dollars. 320. Yeah, and well, at <laughs> like a place in, in our city, like they were charging nothing. And so it was very unreasonable sounding. And so when we called around to the right people and got the proper information, we found out that it was very unreasonable. And when I found that out, oh, and then when I called them on it, when I was making my video, when I was in the thing, somebody came up and asked how much a sick note cost. And they said $30. And he was like, oh, funny, because I just paid $100. And yeah, so that didn't go over well. Scammers out here, you gotta watch out for them. You know, it's a doctor's out. office, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. It's doctors was, doing this to people. Which my is whole why internet, not cool. My whole internet thing went out. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm late night because yeah, I do so have to run. They, Thanks for chilling. I will see you later. Thanks for joining. All right, Mike. Is now it, they were trying to charge my my hubby three hundred twenty dollars for something that is free. You can get more than just pizza for six ninety nine. 
You can get specialty chicken. And I got fed up, and I I wasn't mean about it. I tried to make sure that I was medium two topping pizzas as well. We didn't very stop straightforward it. about it. You did the right thing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was worried because if you watch the video, I'm shaking the entire time. I had to yeah. alternate because I couldn't you stand helping, on you, time. You're helping right. others out there. You know, you're helping others out there making sure they don't get scammed out of money. That was the hope. I mean, while we were there, we already had one person get a refund um, issued to them and another person who um, refused to pay the price that they were asking for the form. So, and I imagine other people are going to, you know. So. Oh, Derrico. Sorry to rant through commercials, guys. <laughs> Lionheart. Well, Connor's having internet issues still. I, I've been going through that myself in like the last week or so. I don't know how that it's is. Real Sorry, what was that, Mr. Jacob? I was talking about Connor's internet issues. I was saying I go, I've go. i been going through the same kind of issues for the last week or so. So I understand that. Yeah, I noticed out there that a lot of people have been having dodgy connections lately. Um, I mean, no one like Von Eric at Wi-Fi. Yeah, the Von Eric Wi-Fi. <laughs> I mean, if you're on a ranch in the middle of nowhere, I don't expect you to have a whole heck of a lot of Wi-Fi. Plus, if you're out there like being in nature and stuff, you probably don't need a heck of a lot of Wi-Fi. True. Hook, lose the toque. Lose the toque. As a Canadian, I will come out there and will slap it off your silly head. <laughs> uh. It looks so awful. It's atrocious. It is snowing <laughs> though, but like. I look, it looks all silly. Like, what are you hiding up there? You got secrets <laughs> up in your hat? Just got a bird up there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's his new finisher. He whips off the hat and like flies at him. It's like, it's like Jericho's fireball, but. <laughs> He's got, oh, he's got a back. He, that's where he has his uh, stash of chips. You are so perfect, Mr. Jacob. <laughs> got a little bag of Doritos up there. Exactly. <laughs> They're all grayed out, though. Yeah, they did. Have you noticed that, that they started doing that with his chip bags, is graying them out? No, I haven't noticed that. If you look at the one he has, you can tell it's a Doritos bag. If you look at the very top of it, the color's there. We all know the chips he eats. Like, clearly, when he pulls it out, it's a Dorito. <laughs> but, oh, like, yeah. yeah, it's all grayed out. And, Lemon, I totally agree with you about the trios match. I don't know if I mentioned that. I forget. I'm sorry, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. No, they haven't. Anna J, Anna J, Anna J. Anna J was on every program. Last week. I know, but I—that's when she stopped the everything to do with the JAS. Was that the point? Just be with the JAS until you're like off ah, this guy and that. Maybe. I, I mean, that's what it, that's what it seems. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Jericho is weird like that. Like, did you really have to make her thing darn choke you out? It was so awful. <laughs> Give her the old college try. Right? It was so bad. <laughs> this is the first Jericho feud I don't care for. Um, I love it. 
only because of Taz and the history that comes with it. What do you think, guys? Uh, I'm, I, I agree. I mean, I, the only one, only Jericho feud that I didn't care about besides this one was him and China. That was kind of st- stupid to me. Mm-hmm. I think Jericho better with fractions at the stage of his career. Of uh, factions, um, I mean, his last faction wasn't very successful. Right, he hasn't had a good track run. He hasn't, you know. I mean, lately he hasn't really had a good, good look with factions. You know, it's, yeah. he tried to reboot his first one, and it, you know, and it totally imploded on itself, just like his first one did. Uh oh! In front of his dad. <laughs> What does it say on his? What does it say on his hat? Is is that a? Uh, that's a phone number. Is anybody else seeing this? Where we're at right now? Oh, we're right now. I'm at hook. Saying no. <laughs> okay, now I see. Cause I'm calling stupid now. <laughs> What? Oh. This would be a Taz return? That'd be fun. <laughs> what the hell? I hope he's going to bring back Taz, the FTW, F the world. <laughs> oh boy. Should have put a little bit of snarl on the lap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, boy. Here we go. Oh, here we go. What is going on here? Does Taz still have what it takes? Yeah, that crowd. That is hilarious. TV time. <laughs> I can't tell if folks turning heel or what. Okay. My thing uh, with that whole thing was it was so good. <laughs> so good until Hook had the second get out of my ring. And it shouldn't have been get out of my ring. It should have had some snarl on it. Put some spank on that. Like, get out of my ring. Like, give me something. Like, he sounded yeah, like a more little aggression. Get out of my ring. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, more aggression. I, it, 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 you know, it wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> it, it just, he, he didn't even, like, it didn't sound like you changed the pitch of his voice with any passion in it at all like he's like get out of my ring oh, he got louder that was about it really he just got louder yeah, he didn't, yeah. and i love hook i love hook and that was so good i was so stoked and all of a sudden i just dried up like the, the sahara desert i was like okay well that's how that went hey look swim I don't know how to put this though between Hook and uh, Chris Jericho, but anyway, before we get before I get done to that, let's get to the segment.
I wouldn't let anyone walk away after pushing my father, especially as they were literally mentioning Taz's knee injury. Like, he's down on one knee. Yeah, I didn't think Hook was going to let him walk out of there. I wouldn't have. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't know. Oh, uh, no, Chris, you would have put him down. I mean, unless they were talking about, you know, the proverbial father, the patriarch, you know, Christian Cage, then you probably would have been like, yeah, okay, push him. Like, you know, but, um, oh, yeah. I'm not talking about Christian Cage, not now. I know. Okay, what up? I'm gonna hey, say this, how did you come back? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining us tonight, too. Hey, my girl, I'm ripping, I'm ripping the 20 storm today. I mean, it's, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's Mariah actually wrestling, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would have been ahead of Chris Jericho beating him so bad for real. Right? Like, dude. I really thought that was quite surprising. I really wanted Taz to choke him out. The Jericho stuff is one reason why ratings are down and people don't like any of that. Um, I feel like they need to put him out for a little bit so he can go on Fozzy Tour so people can like miss him because right now no oh, no. Miss him. Not this I agree Australian on that Mar not this Australian Marilyn Monroe look alike. He's having internet issues. He'll be right back. Heck yeah, Davis. Yeah. Ooh, you look good, girl. She always looks good, though. Yeah. You guys see me all right? Yeah. Welcome back, Connor. My, my, everything is worn out, so for whatever reason, like everything went out. So I got Diana and my May. This is one of the matters I'm most looking forward to. Diana uh, has really proved that like, she's probably the best women's wrestler. Like, out of new signings, I think her signing has been better than Mercedes Monet, actually. She I can, mean, right now, she, hell yeah, because she's actually yeah. wrestled. <laughs> like, well, well yeah. like, Andy, like, and Deanna talks about her. She can wrestle better. She, like, everything that she's done has hit perfectly. Like, her matches, uh, like, her match against Tal Viper that one night was very good. Like, I actually think that Deanna Peralza might be the woman with a thousand holds. Because uh, she's a very good technical wrestler. Very good talker. She can play a heel or face. If anyone's watched her TNA stuff, she's a very, very, very good heel. Uh, I would like she's to also a good face. Uh, I think she could definitely be the AEW Women's Champion in the future. She she has everything that a world champion needs. Unlike some in AEW, they don't have anything about them that makes them unique or good at all. Yeah, and I, yeah, I love Diana. I she makes me very happy to watch. She's very kind. I'm not just talking about Mary Severe. Like she's, I don't know why she's still in Florida. Like they're doing budget cuts. And I feel like you need to get the, the dead weight out of there. I'm really confused as to, yeah, there's a lot of people that hadn't wrestled in a really long time, and some people who had been wrestling actively that were, I just, I don't know. Like, I felt odd about the cut. Like, Roger Strong's already signed. He's not getting out of the deal. Let his wife go. He'll be all right. He'll get over it. His, chance, <laughs> his friends are there. I mean, maybe she can get a job at, uh, maybe AW can hire her to be in charge of catering. Perfect. She can the food. Food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, prepare the food. Well, good. But the budget cuts, uh, it's kind of weird because they're because they just signed a commentator. Oh, yeah. They signed a new commentator. I don't know. See, I don't know if you're going to say this, but did, did y'all see one of that raw last thing with Sheamus return? Yeah. Did. yeah. What about it? Yeah, what about it? I don't know. Uh, some people say on Facebook that he gained a little bit of weight. 
Uh, yeah, a little. <laughs> but, I mean, but I mean, you don't. I, I, what happened? He's been injured. Well, he was injured for a while. Yeah, I know. They, but like, what type of injury, Mister Jacobs? Uh, I think it had to do with his neck. I think so. I believe. I think. Yeah. Because he does have the same thing going on with his neck that Stone Cold Steve Austin has, so he can't be wrestling for too much longer. Yeah, I mean, and I get, I get the, I get the little bit of, um, I, I imagine at the at the beginning especially being told that you may never and probably will never wrestle again like that sucks yeah that sucks that, like and when i get the pressos i gain 170 pounds so i mean he's doing pretty gosh darn good i'd say yeah he still got it too i mean he hasn't lost a step <laughs> and as, as seamus said on the on monday night raw he's back fella I, you know what? Honestly, he really did perform like he wasn't carrying anything extra at all. Right. Hundred percent. He's back. I feel it. It looks good. I've watched a few of his matches before. Yeah, he used to be real cut, but he still was very entertaining and hit all his spots. I'll always be a fan of his. Though, honestly, he's he's yeah. dope. Nice chops from beyond. Uh, so what? Quiet game, everybody, or something? So the picture picture back off. It's going really good, Jason. How are you? No, and, it's just good. I'm <laughs> Still, how's it going, Mike? Going great. <laughs> Tony out there just overreacting for no reason at all. She's extra like that. <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> ah, Peter. Who should AEW? Uh, <laughs> who hasn't wrestled in the last eight months? Who hasn't been on the injured list? No, I'm just kidding. It's horrible. But really, it's like people who hasn't wrestled in years, like Paige Van Zandt. Like she's been, on the, she's been signed to like she hasn't wrestled in like two years, and she's being paid to do nothing really. Like uh, this is the American Top Team, Dan Lambert. Uh, she was like a mixed tag, I think. She's always like full gear 2022, maybe. He's still there? Yeah, she's on the roster. Yeah, she hasn't really done any. I mean, she, I seen that she went to Gangrel's uh, training school in Florida, but he even said that she wouldn't show up sometimes and she'd go weeks without showing up. And, you know, she really wasn't serious about it. I don't know if she's, what she's doing right now, but if I was going to be cutting anybody, she'd be probably be number one on the list. Number two would be Manish Spears, but number one would probably be Paige Van Zandt. I mean, if you're not really safe at wrestling, you probably should be uh, Paige Van Zandt, Manish Spears. Um, see, they've already released Parker, uh, Jose the assistant, Asha Gonzalez. Uh, so a lot of those people that they, they still have on the roster page, even though they released them. So I don't know how that's going. Um, hmm. There's a few others I can play kind of with. Serpentico, 
I know he he's a good person to have a job all the time, but they can they can do better than that. Uh, good question, Spider Man. I mean Peter Parker. In the chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had someone, hey, we had someone in here named Harry Osborne. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Just don't, don't shuffle in here. Take it outside. Um, Last well, night we had a uh, drive back on here. Thank you guys so much. No, we're talking about a we're talking about a drive back former WWE star. Yeah, it probably wasn't actually him, but. <laughs> Paige Van again. Apparently, Paige Van Zandt is doing bare knuckle fighting, so that is why she is not currently wrestling. Mm, okay, interesting. That's a botch. Like it's been like since. Ooh, that I was think a it's, been full, it's been full year 2021. It's her first match. I like that she's doing less and less of the face paint because it looks like she's slowly changing her whole look. Oh, yeah. Fix it up. Fix the room. Scroll over. That was a pretty good match. You notice that every shot of Tony is in black and white. Every shot of her, <laughs> they go close I up. Love that's, it. that's hilarious. <laughs> it's very well done on AEW's part, though. It, it really sells the gimmick, like it pushes it home. Yeah. I also like. I know that we mention it a lot on the podcast, but to anybody if they're just joining us, I really love to appreciate how not only did she change her whole look and attitude. But she actually changed her in-ring style. It's a lot more old school technical oh wrestling. God. And it oh mm -hmm. my gosh, that looks amazing. Purple's not your Damn. color tone. Um, but yeah, like I and I really love that. I think she does a phenomenal job. It's great. It's not a massive change, just saying, but it's very, very old school technical. Very cool. I like it a lot. Damn. Rosa is looking good though. Look at her fly. <laughs> right doing the kick. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I thought that could have been better than this. <laughs> It throws a Rosie got some good shots in though. I'll give her that. Like the feud with Deanna and Tony was a lot better. I thought they gave them more time though. That time timeless got 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 her come up it's <laughs> oh she threw it back at him. I like the come up and Alright, it's time to end this feud now with acclaimed and I don't want to see it anymore. Just have the match, have the match and be done with it. No one cares anymore. <laughs> I know we should seem excited. No one's excited about this feud. Like everyone's done with it. No, yeah. no one even, no one even wanted the bank bang scissor game. Only Tony knows no. that. Tony Khan's the only one. Tony Khan <laughs> must have been doing something that day because boy howdy. I was not for it. Either that, they got something on Tony. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but like, why would you want to be paired together? It takes the shine away from both of you. Like, I don't. That's a good, I mean, exactly. Right? Like, I don't feel like that was their choice. How did this so stop? Fully, anyway. They probably were like, yeah, sure, let's try it out. But like, now we have the Ring of Honor six man championships. And you, I claim it to daddy ass. You have what we want. You have the AEW Trios Championships. I'm, I'm just over it. I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> oh, I'm well and proper over it. The Bang Bang Gang. And if you ain't down with that, we got two words for you. Get us off. Thank you. 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 Thank
Oh, Bullet Club will win the match, and I can Billy Gunn does win the match. I think uh, Bullet Club Goal could do a lot better as trios champion. I wish that they'd give the trios belts back to ROH. ROH is my all-time favorite promotion currently, um, and I'm I miss having them there. <laughs> what they really could do is because uh, it says winner takes all, so claim. I mean, uh, Bullet Club Goal win. And they have some tomorrow wait to come down might beat him and take him back. I think that would be really cool and it'd be a solid way to push the tomorrow H talent. They have a lot of phenomenal trios over there. Um and they could really do some good. Especially now since um I don't know if you watched Supercard of Honor, Connor. Huh, huh? Um, but Lance Archer's tag partner from New Japan came and nice. they had a nice little and it was it was neat. It was a neat little I mean like at least he was doing stuff, you know. I don't Oh, we're losing you again, darling. There you go, and then out. Well, speak. Yeah. But now the question is well, if Connor ain't going to Dynasty this Sunday, he could just watch the pay per view. That is, if he's going to, well, I know he's, you know. If we're gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm totally down to do a live if anybody wants to watch with me, um, because we're gonna be watching it. King and I are gonna be watching it. So. Well, I'll be joining in the first hour, but not, but not the, but not the whole show because I gotta worry because I gotta watch it though and all that. No worries, that would be amazing to have you for the first hour, Chris. Yeah, I'm down to watch it, too. Yeah. Yeah. They call it the hour. If they ever gonna, if they're gonna have it this Sunday. I think they will. I think so, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. That's going to be awesome, you guys. Yay. Yeah. Plus, I could break in the new TV, though. I got a new 4K TV. Ooh. There you go. So it's a good time to break it in. Right when they get chopped, let's go flying. Well, you know, it's, nice. Yeah, I got a, it's a Vizio TV, LED 4K. Freaking awesome. And it's fifty-five inch, but it's a little it's a little smaller, but it's good. That's a damn good size, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I like my fifty-five inch. That is to me, that is the perfect size for my for my house space. If I had a larger room, maybe, but like I think it's the perfect size. It just fits. But in conclusion to TVs, my grandma's got a 70 inch and my kid brother's got a 50. I have to go somewhere in between, so I chose 55 inch. Yeah, solid choice though, really. Because yeah. I do not want a small TV in the house though, with and being being the lowest. Well, you know, I could say more, but I can't. I remember <laughs> when I grew up, I had a 13 inch TV in the living room, and then we upgraded to a 21 inch TV. Hmm. I'm old. One of, those, one of those box sets. Yeah, the one that weighs like 100 pounds, even though it's only like this big. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you guys tonight. This is awesome. This is. And thank you to everybody joining us out there in viewer land. You guys are amazing. Yeah, I'm tired of Archer losing as well. They haven't ever really or really ever booked him good in AEW since he signed in 2020. I agree with that. I think he could do massive things in ROA if they let him. I think he could do really great things in AEW, but it doesn't seem like they're letting him. Well, I mean, it seems like he's gotten lost in the shuffle, you know. He did land on his noggin after that thing off the top rope. Mm. He's out for a bit. Did he destroy the belt? One of the third of the belts? He threw it down. And yep, I was right. There is going to be a zero hour. Yes. All right. Well, at least I know what I'm going to be joining on. How long is zero hour? An hour or 30 minutes? I think it's an hour. Yeah. I saw freshly, I saw Orange Cassidy at the Huddersfield Comic Expo. He was like, he was like in his own gimmick. An AEW gimmick that way. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, I hope you guys can see me tonight. 
Yeah, you're in, you're coming in clear now. I'm tired of this now. <laughs> I know how it goes. <laughs> oh my. Don't, get, don't get too depressed, Connor. We're we're still here. My internet provider would hate me if I was dealing with your guys' connection issues. They would hate me. There would not be a person in their office that could save them. <laughs> My internet is my life. Like, literally, like, I, I need it for my job. I understand that. We were talking, we were talking about uh, Dynasty before we have, had to get out. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not going to Dynasty, but my plan was to do a live reaction to Dynasty. Uh, that would be awesome. I'm down. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, so I'm not going. I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna watch it even though I'm not going. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that was my plan. Do a live reaction to it. Uh, last time we had two thousand. Well, right now it's two thousand revolution. We have two thousand views on that. So uh, yeah, that, that's uh, my plan to do a dynasty live reaction this Sunday. All right, it's going down. You now a lot of people. A lot of people on Twitter, uh, you know, I said I was going to SummerSlam. And they said, uh, like, you're not going to the Dynasty. But I went to Revolution. I spent a lot of money. Probably a lot of money than I probably should have spent. Uh, it was things that don't match. I really wanted one specific T-shirt. And, uh, well, it uh, was a little pricey. Uh, but, you know, there will never be another Final Sting match. Like, it's once in a lifetime. You'll never see Sting Final like like, that. like, that's it. Like he's never wrestling mm-hmm. again. Like that was a true like, final match. Uh, but just because I'm on the dice doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, if you want to see me on the small house, you know, uh, <laughs> you don't have to complain. Uh, but uh, I'm going to I had to choose from Dynasty or SummerSlam. I chose SummerSlam. Uh, but I do plan on going to World's End in December for AEW. Be right back. Bye. Whatever varieties of spice of life. If anybody has a problem with that, tell them to take it up with me. Hey. Yeah, I, I uh, I've been to two WWE events, went to NXT and SmackDown, but uh, I wanted to go to SummerSlam because I've never been. And I, I've been getting really inter- interested to WWE, but I still watch. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't like AEW, I'd probably shut this down. <laughs> like with someone who does, who's like, like people say I don't like AEW, but I spent. I spent thousands of dollars on merchandise. I mean, you wouldn't believe how much money I spent on merchandise. I have action figures, a podcast dedicated to AEW. Uh, I have the All Elite crate. I have the video game. I mean, uh, if it, it's if you not want- fair to see somebody's not a fan just because they watch other things. Then you could say that about me because my favorite promotion is not All Elite. It's like with the ROH. And every week I watch Raw and SmackDown now. Like every week. So, like, and any TNA that comes up, as it comes up, I watch it. I don't think it's fair to say that about people, Connor. And, yeah. you know, I, I don't agree. have a whole heck of a lot of merch because I don't have a hell of a heck of a lot of money. But I still yeah, yeah, love yeah. the product. I've, I've spent a lot of money on that. Uh, I've, I've been a fan since 2019. Sometimes I just buy money just to support. That's what I – I don't do that much of like I used to because mm-hmm. things have just went – more expensive since 2019. Uh, their their t shirts were like $20, now it's like $29.99, plus shipping's like $30 a t shirt. So they're 50 uh, for me. Like, I try to, wow. like, the last shirt I bought online for AEW was uh, we an Adam Copeland t shirt. No, 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 it was a AEW DVD. Uh, I bought a lot of their DVD stuff. Uh, I actually got one of the all week, great. Uh, Did you watch the DVD? DVD? Not yet, I haven't. Uh, it was the Kenny Omega pay per view collection. I'm so excited. Oh, sweet. That is I awesome. Would, I, I would actually email all the crate and give them stuff I wanted them to put in there and, and more exclusive DVDs. That was what I wanted. And I finally put that in there. That is awesome. Get, I, can already, I, can, I can already tell you who the next DVD is going to be in the next crate. It's going to be pay per view collection of John Moxley. I'd be stoked for that. I, I can I can just see it happening because they did King Omega, and who's had better 
I mean, Cam Megas not like a lot of pay per view matches, but Moxley is next on the list for pay per view matches. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be going to a Dynamite this year at some point. Uh, normally, when they come to Nashville, I go every year. Last year, me and Adam, last year, me and Adam went together. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably at least be going to at least five or six AEW shows this year. Uh, I, I, they come back to my neighborhood. I'm going to try and go. But the closest place they're coming to me is like five hour drive away, and I don't, I don't drive. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, pay per view wise, I'll go to World's End probably, because for me it's more affordable going to Orlando. But uh, yeah, I'll be going to, I'll be going to a Dynamite this year. I'll be going to a Collision at some point. Me and Chris actually went to. Uh, were you were you on the podcast? Uh, I don't know if you were on the podcast, then, Siren, and uh, me and Chris went to a Collision, and uh, I believe Chris and no, not Chris, uh, Mr. Jacobs and uh, Mark was on, and you guys could see us the whole entire night, couldn't you? Oh, I don't oh think yeah, I... yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, you guys. I, I think that was a bit, that was like a that was like a little bit before Siren came. I think. It was right I'm before. Yeah, uh, like we were on the entire night. Like we were right there. When we like, we uh, switched out, so I would sit front because uh, like we got front row, not really front row, but like at the edge of the entrance. So I would sit on the edge for a few minutes and we switch out. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Every other shot you guys are in, every other shot going down the <laughs> yeah. aisle, and it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah, we got. I was like, Sarah and joined right after that. Like, we near that. We're gonna have to figure out exactly when I joined so we can do a celebration because I want to celebrate when I got to be part of your guys' team. Not a bad idea. I'm super stoked because, like, I love this. This is great. I know I haven't been super active lately. I was literally gonna come on yesterday, but I literally I needed to go make that video. Connor, the actual incident happened yesterday. Oh, at like, <laughs> yeah. So, and then I, I, I made the video, I posted the video today because yesterday I was just like way too high on life to deal with it. <laughs> I need to see when you're on here. I think I'm on. Desperation, right hand. Taylor, with that grip on the throat finally releases. Technically, my first showing that will pop up will be a dynamite, but I filmed an all week zone Canada beforehand. Yeah, that was the first. Oh, that's right. It was a mm -hmm. cool. That was before we went live with uh, Asia Canada. Orange Cassidy, I do not see you getting out of that. I just don't. Not against somebody like Shane Taylor. Holy shit, you lifted him. Oh. Actually, uh, so your first uh, appearance, well, technically it was pre-recorded, but it was December 23rd. So it was the Tuesday before the December 23rd show. Yeah, like your first live show was... Uh, yeah. Yeah, because that, that was when uh, collision, you know, AZ Canada wasn't live. It was At the end of the year, we normally are, uh, well, no, for our anniversary show, we normally do like a big thing. For this next year, I want to do like stats and stuff. Uh, like who's been on the most, uh, like stuff like that. I already know who's been on the most. It's Mr. Jacobs. He's been on the most. Like out of hours and shows and like there, like he had a streak going on when he started this. Like he didn't miss a show or anything. That is absolutely amazing. Damn it. Well So that'll make it a good day, huh? If Will if Will wins. He's gonna win that match. I, I think it would be silly for them not to. Um, and Claudio has taken enough wins and, and stuff. I mean, the whole point of the Blackpool Combat Club isn't necessarily to win, it's to fight. And right. I think that if he goes out there and puts on a solid match, then, which he will, then it'll do what it, exactly what it needs to do. 
the karate beats were us for the next year's going to cancel the match. I mean, the pay per views this side, this Sunday, you leave right before the pay per view, <laughs> just go ahead and cancel. It. But I think he's gonna win. I don't see him losing. I think he's the favorite. Honestly, I think majority of people want to see Will win tonight. Yeah, Will and Clyde's gonna get a really good match, but I think Will Ospreay's gonna win. Trent has mad heat. That was definitely a fuck you, Trent, man. Who is that in the hoodie? He knocked the hell out of him with that. T- Who was, was that? Christopher, Dan- that Christopher Daniels? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he came up oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was Christopher Daniels. Daniels. He, that was a JVL type chair shot. Like he did an Eddie Guerrero. Oh, so right in the face. Damn. <laughs> we still don't know where Chuck Taylor lines were. Is he with Trent Cassidy or is he with Trent? Personally, I think no, he definitely choose, is. Uh... I think Chuck Taylor should choose Trent because Orange Cassidy is afraid of him. And he stood all the spot on it. As a vocal crowd tonight. <laughs> it's good to see Anthony Go Go back though. Okay. I've always okay. liked Anthony Go Go. Well, they laid out uh, Orange Cassidy. That's good. Oh, yeah, people are freaking out. There's only one they're going to come in. Apparently, that video, Connor, people are starting to tag like news networks and stuff. News network reported about it? They're, no, they're getting tagged. Well, I don't know, actually. I'm not very savvy on that. So, but they're definitely getting tagged quite a bit. And people were getting charged like $300 plus for an $80 maximum form. And so, like, people are like losing their marbles in my city now. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oops. Well, you might have done the right thing, you know, because people are losing. Oh, I definitely did the right thing. People are getting. Bound. I think you did. I live in a really wealthy neighborhood, but the only reason I live here is because I got in when they were first building everything. So when the rent was really low, right? Like the place mm-hmm. that I live in, I'm paying four hundred dollars less for rent than what they're renting my exact suite for when it's empty right now. People have already shared with us. Mm, damn. Yeah. You so gotta, like, you got in. You got in when the getting was good. <laughs> well, but just because people in my neighborhood can pay for it doesn't mean that they should have to. And then there's also people like me in my neighborhood who can't afford that. We're just lucky to live here because the rent was low when we got in and they're getting Mm -hmm. gouged by these businesses here, like really bad apparently. So, I mean, we did, but apparently other people are getting quite, oh man, this is crazy. Sorry, guys. I think you do the right thing by standing up and saying something about it because you know, you have to say something, somebody has to. It was not right. That's for sure. I just, I hope that they get a better doctor in there. That's all. Somebody who's not going to gouge people. Is it like the entire place or just one specific person? So um, I'm not sure. We were dealing with one doctor, but it's a clinic. Like it's a walk-in, but it also has family doctors. And this guy is my hubby's family doctor. And but like there's a couple doctors there, but they're, it seems like they're all overcharging. Put it this way, when somebody walked up to ask how much um, like this, this form was, they were told $80. And I, I went up to him and I was like, you don't have to pay that. It's, they're telling you the maximum amount of, per, like for the, like if it's 30 minutes of work or less, the max amount of work or money that they can charge you is $80. So if it's like a doctor's note, most people charge 15 to $20 for it. And they're charging hmm. 80. And like, it's ridiculous. It and yeah, so like they're just telling people that it costs a whole bunch when it doesn't. I get some investigation on that. I think that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, forty-five thousand views. Yeah, that, that's definitely gonna. I have fifty-one thousand views. Five hundred and one. Fifty thousand one. Fifty thousand. Fifty-one. Wow. Yeah. So a clinic in this neighborhood charged three hundred dollars for an eighty-dollar order form and they charge somebody student health insurance for it boy this is gonna be not good this is gonna that is messed up because that's not the same clinic in my city so that means that there's a lot of clinics taking advantage of inflation 
and the inflation scare, everybody just assumes that they have to pay more for everything right now. So nobody's questioning it, but you don't, you don't have to pay more. People are taking advantage of inflation. That's crazy. Where's oh, Hargrave been at? That sexy son of a gun. I don't know. Are you a grave digger? Uh, he's always welcome to come on. Uh, I've asked him there. Maybe he's always welcome to come on. Of course. Yeah. Mr. Hot Grave is super awesome. He sometimes raids my Twitch channel. So if you are a grave digger, I'm sorry that you went from his like super dark channel to my like super bright bubbly Disney Speedstorm channel. Yeah, Hot Grave. He's always welcome on here. I'm guessing Joe and uh, Kasura said on his pro his little backstage and he was going to be calling out Joe tonight or something. So this is the final match and the final segment will probably be Joe Swerve. Probably. Which it makes sense too, because that's the big match. That's the biggest match in the pay per view. The whole title match. Do so you want to close the show with it? Most of the time, people remember the opening of the show and the ending of the show. What happened? I have no no clue. Sorry. So a lot of the thing is we were treated really poorly because it was a mental health concern, and. Mm -hmm. So now other people are coming out and being like, because he pretty much compared my hubby to a stranger on the street and told them that he could be lying about having depression. And um, and so now people are like, my doctor told me to go for a walk. My doctor told me to buy a self-help book. Like people are, I, I accidentally lit a couple fires that I didn't mean to, I think. Now, people are very dismissive when it comes to mental illness, especially depression. Oh, yes. And, and as somebody who's been misdiagnosed with depression and anxiety, um, they treat you like garbage. Yeah. Like garbage. Is it on Facebook that it has that many views? No, it's on Tiki Talk, TikTok. TikTok right now it has 51.3. I don't think it's gonna focus on it for me. But yeah, it's pretty, people are getting pretty uppity, guys. Wow! Are you causing a stir? Maybe that's a good thing. I fucking hope so. Things need to change. I'm tired of paying so much GD money for things that shouldn't be costing that amount. When I used to sell furniture, one of the couches with the company of this, anyway, manufacturer, the markup on it was 636%. When you went in there to purchase it, I knew that I could give you up to a 636% discount on it and like or 600, you know, 600 percent discount, and they were still making money. Hmm. 600 percent That's ridiculous. Inflation is ridiculous. I, you, I agree with that. That's that's a scheme on its own. <laughs> Man, Osprey, holy. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. This is insane. <laughs> You're such a talented man, and it's really good to put him up against somebody like Claudio because he can do a lot of those like real big moves, and you have a very safe landing. Very safe. <laughs> oh, we thought about that one. <laughs> They're just now slowing down. <laughs> From the beginning of that bill, it was fast paced. That's probably going to be one of Osprey's biggest weaknesses. Sorry. I feel like he's going to be like Ray Phoenix a little bit. He's going to do a lot of these moves and stuff. And one of these days, he's going to get injured, then he'll be out for a whole year or something. I hope that doesn't happen. I, I think there's it. a huge difference between somebody like Osprey and Phoenix. And not that I don't think Phoenix is an absolutely amazing, amazing athlete. Um, but Will Osprey is one of those those people that come along like once in a generation, you know, maybe yeah. twice. But who's just he had 
his his mind like in relation to the ground like when you watch him twist in the air it's like no matter what if he had his eyes closed blindfolded you could toss him off something and he could land properly mm -hmm. i don't know he just i don't know this saturday it is crazy um, and rampage in one show double time double duty <laughs> Oh, you go. I'm going to get my phone charged real fast. Sorry, back. I just want to smack Don every time I hear his voice. I just want to smack him. Oh! <laughs> I agree. I hate Don Callis' voice. Damn, Osprey, Cassignoli, that was amazing. They have to study swing dancing. They have to. Like I said, solid base. It's oh. all a, it's a dance. Very intricate dance. Right? Mr. Jacobs, you get it. I, I always, it bothers me when people complain about how dangerous wrestling is and how, I mean, I get it. It's dangerous, don't get me wrong. But then they'll sit through a Cirque du Soleil show and be like, oh my God, these people are so talented. Look how they put their life on the line. But you wrestling, that's fake. Bro, it's good the example. same shit. <laughs> that's a really good example. <laughs> it really is. It drives me nuts. It makes me rage so hard. Like, hold up, like. I didn't mean to go off. Like, geez. <laughs> Where did Chris went? I don't know. Good question. He's been gone for a while now. I hope he's all right. Oh my God. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Will's not after London on that apron. <laughs> right. It's crazy how we are still getting more matches the week before Dynasty. Such good matches too. They are good matches. Good matches we got tonight. And we got the uh, trios match. I think that's it, right? That's the mm -hmm. new, new match now. This so. might take my match of the night from the trios. Uh, the Deanna and Mariah May wasn't awful because Deanna's awesome. Well, well for a uh, dynasty, like, like, like they've only added one match, right? It was a trios match that they added. Oh. Yeah, yeah they, they just added it, I think. I think that's the only match to add, which hopefully after that match, you're done with that. I don't want to see it no more. That. Like, they do this so much. I, like, they got these feuds like Jericho and Hook and Claimed and uh, all this. Uh, like, n no one cares for it. I mean, no one wanted Hook and Jericho, to be honest. What people Not ask really. for is Jericho to go on his Fozzy tour and don't come back for a while. Exactly. How can they miss you if you don't go away? Exactly. I agree. He just, he's, his, the usage of him has just gotten... I don't know. I, I, I like Jericho. He's one of the best of all time. I mean, nothing would take that away from Jericho. Mm -hmm. You can't. You but, can't. But right now, I don't know. I think he needs a break. I think we need a break. I think we just need to. I think we just need some space. It's not you. Mutual, it's mutual, me, Jericho. Mutual, yeah. Oh, it's him, all right. <laughs> it's Jericho, all right. <laughs> it is Jericho. Like he, once <laughs> said nice he, knew, like he once said that he knew what they wanted. He wanted to give the fans what they want. This isn't what we want. Nobody asked for Jericho and Hook. No one asked for Jericho and Adam Cole. No one asked for any of this stuff. But it really comes down to booking, like when they once he won't basically nothing. It won't so be you awesome. just said I want you to pull a wizard and disappear, Jericho. Sorry. That's a good one. I like that one. Oh <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, well the problem with that, uh many may not know, but uh, oh, I mean, I got blue. uh yeah, I don't think that either. I think she would get injured in that one match that we were uh, that, that uh was Willow and Chris versus Sky and Julia. I think she would get injured in that because we haven't seen her since then. Uh, hey Donnie, but, you want to go? I'm gonna take you out. 
I'm gonna take y'all back. I'm gonna old yeller you right now. Uh, Matt, no. Know, but WB Discovery actually did not want Jericho on ROH. Uh, they were actually that trying. Makes to- sense. I wouldn't have wanted him there either. Why like decision? Like when he was there, uh, it was Jericho and Claudio, I believe. Maybe uh, they like they didn't want him on there. Like, like there's certain wrestlers that WWE Discovery doesn't want on ROH. Like uh, Danielson, they they didn't want to get Danielson on ROH. WWE Discovery is like no. It's it's certain stars I don't like to have on ROH. That's weird because Danielson kind of helped build you know early ROH. Good Johnny, feel, you have a little hand. I feel like for them, like. I don't know, like, uh, Tony Khan's tried to sell ROH to WWE Discovery for a long, long time. And they're, like, they're just not interested. Like, he's selling them something that they don't want. Not saying that ROH isn't worthy of a TV deal, but... No, it just doesn't. It's not meant to be... It's just not meant to be for WWE Discovery. Like, uh, I they don't the, want it on TV. Like, they had the opportunity to put ROH on the CW... Uh, Tony Khan declined it. This is going on like a network where we could just do whatever we want because ROH is. I like ROH. I like. I don't want any network to come in and be like, "Now we got to do this," or "You can't do that anymore." Yeah, you're gonna have to answer to somebody eventually. You know. Yeah, I mean, but Tony's the guy that people answer to, and he's apparently a gigantic marshmallow. So it's okay. Yeah, yeah, he he gets, he's trying to sell them something that, that they don't want, and he doesn't under because he, he he mentioned it one time that uh, all the all elite women show, I don't know if it was supposed to be a reality show or an actual show, but uh, he was pitching I'll both of them. Into that. Yeah, but it was just kind of weird how W Discovery came up with the idea for Collision, and they didn't take Tony's ideas for ROH or. All league women like they didn't want that. They started a new AEW show, so that kind of like W Discovery is only interested in AEW. It seems you like what you like and what you think that your viewership will like. Like I can I can tell you right now that um, there's certain things that will help and hinder when you're when you have like a platform, right? So yeah. I think uh, AEW. I think WB is all in on AEW and just AEW. Like they want to put their money in the AEW. But you showing off for Paul. Yeah. Check that out, Paul. What's up? What's up, Paul? No, I'm just kidding. It's my very precious <laughs> item of love. Yeah, your question. Uh, someone asked who should uh, Johnny, who all special face double or nothing. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd be really because it wouldn't be Danielson again. I don't think it would be Jericho. No, probably, I don't think so. They'll probably still be doing Jericho and uh, and Hook by Double Nothing. They'll still be doing that. Okada, that that's something they could do. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think he's going for the world title yet. I don't have a hook card, or I don't have a hook figure, but my card is a number one out of five autographed number or gem gem mint hook card. So there's only one of it. Yeah, there's only one of it in the whole world, and it's mine. (laughs) All mine. (laughs) Now, I do have a lot of figures. Uh, I would go get some, but they're too far. Like, I got too many. And the ones I would want to show are way too high up to reach. I'm usually way too high to reach things, too. I have so many. I have a total of uh, almost 100 AEW figures. And that's not even... Dang, nice. but, that's just, but that's just AEW. That's not Somebody including... One of my wrestling groups took all their figures out of the package, and they have, like, a big AEW figure, like, diorama. And it's like a ring and like a whole setup and everything. And it looks dope. Like all of their little props are super dope. Yeah, it looks so awesome. If I came home and someone did that to my figures, I would absolutely lose it. Yes, we were a collector. This person is clearly just somebody who likes to play with things. Like Whoever whoever would have done that, would have, they'll never be my friend again, whoever did it. Take their thumbs, Connor. 
Because a lot of those figures figures are signed, and I pay a lot of money to get those signed. Yeah, those aren't cheap. I would be pissed. But I didn't get these signed pre I actually met them and got them signed. So so if anyone uh, anyone that I know is watching, please never do that. You'll, you'll, (laughs) You'll lose me as a friend for life. Which I don't Boy, think. that was close. There was like a ball hair in between that and the three there. That was like 2.99. Holy Hannah. Ooh, that was good. One. Which I, uh, this is kind of weird, but I, just so no one gets into my stuff, I lock my door every day. I have a lot of collectible stuff. Like, it's worth a lot of money. Whoa. Yeah, you have a hell of a collection. Wow. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Damn. Swiss Superman. Yeah, I have a, uh, that's just, I have like 98 AEW. That's not including my WWE, WWE ones. So I probably have like a total of like 198, close to 200. That was impressive. Oh, great job, Bryce. Look at him. Superman. Oh, that was a good reversal. That was good. That was good. I've never seen anyone reverse a swing. Right? Me either. That's a first for me, too. (laughs) That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Me and Kimberson. Oh, my God, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's probably one, two. Oh, there you go. Will Osprey picks up the win. That was a really there, good match. There it is. Oh, that was sick. Oh, man, most, most son, Zach is a few wrestling, wrestling fan and has almost every wrestling figure. That's awesome. That's cool. I collect a lot of that stuff too. I and not just figures like uh, DVDs, figures, cards. I have like a museum at this point. Oh, it comes Hobbs and. Ooh. Machine Gun Kelly. Get in there. No, 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 don't walk away. Don't walk away. Come back. Please come back. Oh. I would have preferred that. I would have preferred him on his team than to the cows, but I wanted to be fair. <laughs> We were just talking about this last night. We said that the next Blackpool Compact Club feud should be against the Don Callis family last night. And now it's a solid bet. It's a manifestation. Mm-hmm. He just swung. He just swung Kyle Fletcher like he was nothing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Holy awesome. shit. Man, Kyle Fletcher, Fletcher looks good in that suit. Like, I don't know. That looks good on him. Yeah. He probably will be about 40 years over. I don't think he's trying. I think he's, I think he's working on it. <laughs> I think uh, I was kind of mad at Kyle Fletcher and all of them. Yeah, I didn't think Will Ospreay liked all that. <laughs> He's walking away. He seems to be a little bit pissed about it. <laughs> just take Kyle. Yeah, Fletcher. Just take Kyle Fletcher with you and ditch all the rest. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're not going to see Joe Slur. That's what they said. I mean, I could have swore. Maybe it'll be like, well, I guess not. No, we're at the end. Hmm. The Elite versus Pack and FTR. Yeah, I guess they're saving it. I'm down. Didn't we already see this match? I'm pretty sure we did. On Cal's bro. We already, I don't want to see that again. We've seen that last Saturday, and everyone wanted it to end. <laughs> Oh no no no! It was it was Hobbs and Kyle Fletcher. They're reversing the Makesh. Still, yeah. 
Still, I don't want to see it. It's really bad. I don't, still don't want to see it. No. Last week, that was bad. I don't care what stipulation you add to it. You can make it a lights out, exploding barbed wire death match, and I still wouldn't care. <laughs> that six man match looks pretty good. I'm actually excited for that one. Yeah, I'll be getting that Eric and William. I'm just be a king number is BCC versus Don Callis family. That yeah, like that. good. I feel like we don't want to work if Adam Cole is available, though. Oh, God, they had that match in the pay per view. Hook versus Jericho. Of course, you knew they were going to. <laughs> you knew they were going to do that. <laughs> what a way to. I mean, that'll be the commercial. That'll be the bathroom break match, I guess. <laughs> I, know I, I don't them. take bathroom breaks during wrestling. My bladder has been conditioned not to need to be used during wrestling. I'd put that match on zero hour. That's where I'd put that oh, match. Oh, hey, Nana. That I'll was some double it. peak we got I'll there. Just it, I'll just put that mm-hmm. match not ever happening. <laughs> like, no got some not. Nana booty. I guess we are getting this. If you're going over TV. Okay. Well, overtime. They're gonna rush us. Can I shamelessly plug my socials in in the chat? What's up? Can I shamelessly plug my socials in the chat? I didn't hear you again. We just. I did it anyway. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Man. I just thought I would ask first, but like. No, that's fine. I'm good. It. I mean, I, I put I put Chris's stuff, so he doesn't. Swerve like he looks like he needs some sleep. Nah, butts here. I'm rather really trying to rush this because they. I feel like that last match went over time. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, you got like a five to seven minute overage. Go. <laughs> I mean, they could have scratched right. and fired Jericho and Hook that and they had time for both the main event and the. So that did drag on. I mean, Tony needs to. Because AEW used to give the fans what they wanted, and if fans didn't like what they what they were giving them, then they'd do something else. But with Jericho, it's just uh, I guess Jericho has a special privilege that he can do whatever he wants. I mean, Which, when Tony gets tired of seeing those empty seats, he'll figure it out. Ooh. All right, we got Joe with a bunch of security guards. Sweet to this. <laughs> I'm scared of That's funny. He could have landed in a very alley split there. Could have got a head in the head. Oh boy. Yeah, he definitely could have got like bagged by somebody's noggin for sure. Uh oh. I know you see him right there, Joe. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> Sometimes I feel a- AEW put too many matches on pay-per-view. I disagree. They have a solid amount of phenomenal matches on their oh. programming. Oh, I'm sorry. I was watching this. Right? The, the stomp where he looks like he could almost, like, first of all, bag himself on somebody's head or, like, land in a split. That could have went horribly wrong. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, Nana, Nana's going commando. We have seen Nana's butt cheeks like a lot today. <laughs> right? Like we've definitely seen some Nana booty. Not that I'm opposed to, you know, some booty. <laughs> and tried to cram a lot into two hours. 
Um, I do feel like they do put a lot of wrestling in in their in their TV time in comparison to some other products for sure. I mean, their Collision had the same amount of matches as one of the other shows did in a three hour show. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you want, like and what kind of fan you are. But that's why there's so many different products out there right now, which is why it's such an awesome time to be a wrestling fan. Hell yeah! There's something out there for everybody. I think if you're if you're looking into to watch wrestling, I mean, it's out there. All you oh, gotta yeah. do is check it out. Oh yeah, we love all wrestling. I don't have a time to watch all of it, but I actively watch all of AEW, ROH, and WWE, and I would classify TNA as well, and all of it. <laughs> well, I do. Do you count NXT in WWE? I mean, yeah. I, I would count it as yeah WWE. Okay, so then I don't, the don't watch NXT, well. so I guess I got to pick the pick up that show. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a WWE product. Yeah, it's it's basically. The last one I watched was Halloween Havoc, and that chick brained herself on the on the ring post so hard she had that golf ball sized goose egg right here, and I was like, I can't watch this. <laughs> I should have done this segment in the main. I watched. I'm like, I mean, that's okay too, though. You like what you like for wrestling, and you have time for what you have time for. Right. You know. I don't think anyone watches Random Page anymore. I watch Random Page. I mean, like, not that they used to. Like, I, I remember when like they would, they would have a little bit. I think once Collision started, fans picked Collision and they just. But yeah, I feel like that last time they, they, they should have gave that more time. Like, that's the main match of the pay per view. Darn tootin'. If they would like, they, they just scratched the whole Jericho bull crap. And they'd have time for both the, the good main event and then the last segment would be Joe and Swerve. Yeah. I mean, trust me, no one would complain if Jericho wasn't on TV. I really, really loved that bit with Taz, though. It had me teased. I believed that Taz was going to jump on him from behind and put him to sleep. Like, I, I'm like, surprised he didn't. <clears throat> it was good. It for me, it gave me what I wanted and what like out of it. I mean, not as much as what I wanted. I really wanted like a little bit more of like a manly, you know, get out of my ring from hook or to like just put him down. Putting Jericho down mm. would have been really cool. Um, but I didn't have a problem with it. I just think the match should have been shorter. Or not the yeah. match, the uh the talking the segment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just over the whole thing. Like I don't even want to see that. Like, Hook should be doing something else. Like, he's already beat Jericho. I mean, what has he got to prove? I mean, That's true. He already beat him. Uh, only Jericho. Yeah, only Jericho would be mad if he wasn't on TV. Uh, Jericho <laughs> wants that to retire when he wins it. I wouldn't be surprised if Jericho does win it. Uh, but, I don't, but I don't want to see Hook win it back. I want to see. I want to see Hook go after the TNT title, or uh, I want to I want to see him go after a real title. I mean, FTW is not really a real. Uh, I mean, it's a real title, but it's not like an official AEW title. Right. I don't really want to see him lose it as much as I want to see him progress. Like, put it down and move on to something else. Because I think the belt belongs with Hook. Um, yeah, they, they, they need to. Uh, I mean, there's nothing else I can do with that belt. Like, no, but he can um, definitely graduate. Like, yeah, yeah. He's done everything he can with that belt. And uh, mm -hmm. who were talking about that? Someone said that he wouldn't be interested. But apparently, uh, Taz wants him to go to WWE, uh, that he wants WWE. to see him in WWE. That uh, makes sense. He, he definitely has what it takes to be in WWE. Like, his. Uh, like he's like I said tons of times, but he he wrestles like he's a veteran, like he's been oh, yeah. in, he's been in this for years. But reality, he started wrestling in like twenty twenty one. Like the mm -hmm. man has been tossing people around since he was in a nappy. He just hasn't been actually wrestling. Since. But I'm sure he was trained by Taz. So if you're getting trained by Taz, then you're probably going to be good. Uh, but yeah, that's a possibility he might he's go. Uh, personally, I want him to stay in AEW. 
But if they keep on doing the FTW stuff, I could see him leaving. Uh, but mm-hmm. really, he's ready for the TNT title, or as Johnny said, the international title. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think a world title yet, but he's ready for a, a real AEW title. He's he's already proven that he's beaten Jericho. Uh, if, if he beats him again, golly, I don't know what else he has to do to get a real title. Um, but yeah, after Dynasty, I hope they in that in the black, not the black book club, but the uh, Bullet Club Gold and Acclaim stuff. Hopefully, they end that. Have Bullet Club Gold win them in that feud. Acclaim can go back to tag team stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, but as far as tonight's episode, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Uh, best match tonight? Uh, I still think it was that trios match. Uh, Will Ospreay and Claudio had a really good match. Uh, as we talked about, uh, I never seen someone reverse out of the swing like uh, Ospreay did. I've never seen anyone reverse out of that really. Like that was incredible. Was, no, that was super cool. Yeah, that was very unique. I've never seen anyone really try to get out of it or get out of it, attempt to get out of it, or successfully get out of it. But that was very, that was a very good match, as I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, if I was going to rate it out of a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I'm going to give it a uh, 7.8 out of 10. Hmm, that's fair. Let's see if you got a problem check, Perry. Or the problem. <laughs> well, a lot of people have uh, have a problem then, probably. So yeah. Hook chaos to beat Jericho five times. Before he... Oh, gal. Well, I don't know. If you How many times did Mox do it? <laughs> gal, <All> right. <laughs> eight. Yeah, seven point and eight's good. It, it it was a good go home show. I'm gonna give it eight point two. It was a good go home show. It was uh, it was what it needed. I mean, some segments should have been shorter, and other segments should have been longer. But yeah. Uh, Overall, that was a pretty pretty good episode. Uh, mm-hmm. But there, there was two good match, really good matches. Hard, but the pick was better. The trios match or that uh, Osprey and Claudio, but both were really good. Uh, the, the women's match was really good. Uh, we got two new matches for the pay per view: Hook and Jericho, unfortunately, and we got the uh, trios titles. Hopefully, that's over too. Like, mm-hmm. is it funny how they added the two matches people didn't want the last second? <laughs> Like that, that is crazy. Where's all this card go? But uh, hopefully, like I'm really hoping that Bullet Club go win that, and they just end that that whole feud. Um, and what did you rate it, Mr. Jacobs? Uh, I'm gonna go on the same. I'm, I'm on the same boat. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. It wasn't a. It wasn't a bad show. It's actually a lot better than than it has been lately. So I enjoyed it. Heckin' yes, you guys. That's a good that's a good number. Like eight is kind of the average where we landed, so that's good. Yeah. Uh yeah, you give it uh, eight point two, Jacob is eight, I give it a seven point eight. Uh seven, eight ish, we all got around. Uh yeah, it was a really good episode. Uh we'll be back for talking elite tomorrow night. I'm not sure what the topic is, but definitely stay tuned to our socials to see what the topic to see what the topic is. Uh, I know Adam's probably got something planned. I know we were discussing something of managers of wrestling, uh, talking about managers of wrestling from like the uh, golden era to today. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be the topic, but definitely stay tuned to our socials. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, we won't be having anything Friday because our Rampage is on Saturday, so I'm guessing we'll do a Rampage and Collision on Saturday, possibly. Uh and then Sunday, we talked about uh, we are doing an AEW Dynasty live reaction. Uh, seems like we're doing pay reviews a lot more recently. So uh, definitely join us for AEW Dynasty. Uh, we'll be here uh, for the pay review. Uh, yeah. And if anyone hasn't, check out our predictions video that we did yesterday for AZ Canada. Uh, we went through, well, not the two newest matches, but we, we went through the matches that were announced until what, till today started. Uh, but uh, definitely go check out our predictions. We uh, I'm not gonna tell you how it went, but uh, it was an interesting. It was interesting how we all had the same predictions, kind of. Uh, but I definitely recommend going and checking out AZ Canada from yesterday. Uh, predictions. Uh, but yeah. Uh, talking late tomorrow. Your partner for Dynasty. Yeah, it should be a good pay review. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. Talking late tomorrow. Uh, definitely follow us on all these links and links in, in the description below Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram. 
uh, TikTok. Uh, we're on everything that we're on is in, in, in the link in the description below. Uh, yeah, definitely check out our Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We're really trying to. Uh, we've been updating that a lot, so definitely go check those two out. Instagram. Uh, that, that's one of our newest things because we're not for sure how long we'll be on TikTok. Uh, we don't know what's going on with that. So to make if we do get booted, I don't know if we get booted out there. We just won't be able to access it. Uh, we have Instagram and new stuff to kind of replace it. Heck uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for Talking Elite. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Peace.